everyone, my name is Margaret McGuire and today I'll be explaining how copper etching works. So I'm going to show you a video and some pictures of me doing some copper etching, but before we look at those, I wanted to explain what's going on sort of in theory. So here you see we have a battery that is connected to a basin with a negative lead, so going from the negative terminal of the battery attached to the basin. Then the basin is full of a supersaturated salt solution that conducts electricity. And then we have a piece of copper with some Sharpie marker on it that's attached to the positive end of the battery. So when you turn the battery on, electrons are moving from the negative terminal over to the basin and then from the basin over to the piece of copper in solution with the Sharpie marker on it and then back up to the positive terminal of the battery. So if we were to track some electrons through this process, the electrons are leaving the piece of copper with the Sharpie on it and going up towards the positive terminal of the battery. Meanwhile, copper two plus ions are being formed in the solution and are moving over to the side of the basin, which is a copper two plus acceptor, where two electrons come back and form copper uh, neutral. So you can see that here in these reactions at the anode we have Cu neutral forms Cu2 plus plus two electrons and then at the cathode we have Cu2 plus plus two electrons forms just normal copper. So as this process continues for about an hour the areas without Sharpie marker on them on this piece of copper will be etched away and then those copper ions will bind to the side of the basin and form a sort of wall of copper around the inside of the basin and you'll see this in the video. So the piece of copper, wherever there is Sharpie marker, copper ions cannot escape into solution. So the areas with the Sharpie will be raised relative to the rest of the surface of the copper. So now we're going to take a look at that in some videos. Here we are preparing the super saturated solution on heat. Okay, so you see we have the Sharpie designs, and wherever there's Sharpie, there will be no etching. So yeah. Preparing for the smoke test. Look at it. There we go. See all that bubbling? Oh yeah. It's working like gangbusters. Whoa! It's working too well. Get away, put some goggles on. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, the copper plating has sort of bound to the aluminum pan. Oh yeah. So just to recap, electrons are moving from the copper piece in solution to the positive terminal of the car battery, and then the copper 2 plus ions are binding to the side of the aluminum basin because that's where electrons are available to form copper neutral. So you notice that the lines aren't quite perfectly straight, so the etching is a little bit uneven. This is because we use Sharpie. Um, to get better lines, you could try using paint pens or tape. Um, but that's pretty much a final product right there. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something about electrochemistry in the process. Have fun.